Proudly, we hail. From New York City, where the American stage begins, here is another program with a cast of outstanding players. Public service time has been made available by this station to bring you this story, as proudly we hail the United States Army. Our story is entitled, Pursuit in Jade. Time, the present. Place, Japan. The action, a visit to Nikko for the annual parade of the samurai, which results in some surprising experiences, romantic and otherwise. Our first act curtain will rise in just a moment, but first... Young man, be honest with yourself. Have you reached a standstill in life? Is each day just like any other? Are you worried about your future? And most important of all, are you feeling dissatisfied with yourself and your personal development? Well, if this description or any part of it fits you, it's just about time you investigated the opportunities waiting for you when you enlist in the United States Army. Every man in the Army has a skill, and more often than not, the Army taught him that skill in one of its fine schools. The Army offers an interesting present and a secure future, with plenty of promotions along the way. And above all, the Army molds you into a man, a man whose family, friends, and country are proud of him. If you think you can measure up, stop in at your nearest recruiting office and see if you can qualify to wear the mark of a man, the uniform of your United States Army. And now your United States Army presents the proudly we hail production, Pursuit in Jade. <laughs> I must be crazy. Getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning to come up here all the way from Tokyo to see this darn parade of samurai. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. What's that? Uh, mister, you dropped something. Oh, uh, go ahead. Uh, hey, hey, you dropped this box. Hey, excuse me. Stay back, oh, please. policeman, that man, the samurai on horseback in the parade, he dropped this. I was trying to give it to him. What can you say? This box, man dropped it. What can you say? Oh, darn it. You don't understand. Oh, okay. Okay. Gosh, what a madhouse. Corporal O'Neill, oh. what are you doing up here in Nico? Oh, Sergeant Gorman. Now, what's the matter? I don't look that terrible, do I? No, no, I just wasn't expecting to see anybody I knew, especially anybody from the office. Taking in some of the local color? Well, right now, I think it's taking me in. <laughs> oh, what a crowd. Gee, you look different in civilian clothes. I almost didn't recognize you with that big hat. Is that a compliment? And what do you think? <laughs> Say, I was just on my way to a tea house somebody told me about. I thought I'd take a breather. Uh. How about coming along? It's no fun drinking tea by yourself, you know. Sounds wonderful. Well, come on. Let's see if we can fight our way out of here. Hold on to my arm. Don't want to lose oh. you now, and I just found you. Come on this side. Come on this side. Come on this side. Yeah, I've gotten so I almost like this stuff. <laughs> Sitting on the floor, soft oriental music. I guess I've been in the Far East too long. It does have a certain restful effect. And anything's nice getting away from the office. Yeah, you can say that again. You know this is my first Sunday off in two months, O'Neill. Ah, uh, you can call me by my first name, you know. After all, we're not on duty now. Okay. What is it? <laughs> Dottie. Oh, Dottie, of course. You look like a Dottie. Okay, O'Neill. Dottie. <laughs> More tea? Oh, uh, don't you fill my cup. I'll lose face. Lady's supposed to do that. I thought that was only in the dives along the Ginza. No, no, that's an old Japanese custom. Okay, I approve. You can light my cigarette too, Oksan, while you're at it. Immediately, master. Anyway, I can try out my new Japanese lighter. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I forgot. Why'd you leave it home? No, no, this box. What about it? A man in the parade dropped it, and I tried to give it back, and the policeman didn't understand, made me go back in the crowd. I forgot all about it till you sneaked up on me, and just now I opened my purse, got my lighter, and I found it. Well, open it up. Oh, you think I should? Why not? I don't know. 
Okay. My gosh. Looks like a jade necklace. Kind of pretty beads, aren't they? Pretty beads? Do you know what these are worth? No. Are they real jade? Yes, real jade. It's only worth about $5,000, that's all. $5,000? Holy Gee. smoke, you sure? Of course I'm sure. Well, how do you know? Well, my father's a jeweler back home. Gee, I've never seen anything nearly as good as this one, but I know a little about it. Enough to know it's very good jade. Anything else? Morty, dozo. Arigato gazaimasu. You know, we'll uh, have to take this right down to the police station. You sure it's real? I'm sure. I'd hate like heck to take it in there and have them laugh their heads off when it turned out to be a bunch of glass. <laughs> no, look, you can see when the light hits it. Gosh, I've, I've never seen anything so beautiful. Well, it is pretty. You see how dark and translucent it is? Almost like emeralds. Yeah. I never dreamed jade was so expensive. Well, you see, the color and the way each bead is matched are what determine the value. Uh-huh. Sure is worth a fortune. Kind of makes me nervous just to hold it. I'll put it back. <laughs> That was wonderful, but I guess we better be going, huh? Yeah. I sort of dread getting out in that crowd again. <laughs> Must be breaking up by now. Anyway, we have to take the necklace to the police. Uh, well, let's go collect our shoes and get going. Okay. I beg your pardon. Would you mind stepping into my office, please? Who are you? George Henson at your service, Sergeant. I am, in a sense, your host. I own this house. Well, we're just leaving. We have an appointment. What was it you wanted? Uh, just a few moments of your time, please. Come in, and I will explain. Okay, Daddy? Well, I guess so. There. Now we can talk. Please be seated. No, thanks. My houseboy brought me very pleasant news. He tells me that the young lady has something which belongs to me. What do you mean? The necklace. Well, how did he know? You were displaying it to the sergeant when he came to serve you. He knew that it had been taken from me this morning. Obviously, there could not be two strings of jade so much alike. Well, that's true. It's not very likely. So now we can conclude this little interruption, and you can get on with your appointment. Uh, would you be so good as to hand me the box, madame? Uh, don't well, do it, Daddy. How do we know this guy is on the level? We don't. She found that necklace. It was dropped by a man in the parade this morning. A samurai warrior on horseback. How could it have been you? A samurai? Was he wearing armor and a visor? Yes, but... Oh, although I am an Occidental, I have resided here for so long that, by courtesy, I am asked to participate in the festival. Well, we were going to take it down to the police station and let the owner reclaim it there. Oh, no, you must not do that. Why not? Because, Sergeant, you don't know how these native police operate. There will be forms to fill out. They will question you. There will be delays. I assure you, it will be most uncomfortable. They may even hold you while they check into your story. No, no, you must not subject yourselves to that. Well, I'm sorry, sir. We just couldn't take the chance with anything as valuable as this. Come on, Dottie, let's go. Okay. I will make it well worth your while. We're not interested. I hope you will not regret this step, Sergeant. Gee, I haven't even seen a cop for the last 15 minutes, let alone a police station. We must all be celebrating the festival, too. Well, anyway, I'm glad to be away from that tea house and that cheerful Mr. Uh, 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 what's his name? Hanson, mm. me too. If that's his real name, I'll eat my hat. Me too. He was sure a creep. Wasn't that funny the way he didn't want us to go to the police? Yeah, it seems so. Of course, he may be right about the way they operate. And maybe we're suckers for going to them ourselves. Yeah, I'll feel better about it, no matter what. Well, I'll feel better about it when we get rid of the doggone thing. It's beginning to make me nervous, too. She must be late. It's almost dark. Yeah. We drank a lot of tea. <laughs> <laughs> hey, isn't this something, though? These Japanese streets. I get a kick out of it every time I go down one. You'd think it was a movie set. <laughs> Expect Dr. Fu Manchu to step out of any doorway. <laughs> you are come up with guns, Sergeant. If you move, I will be forced to shoot. Well, it's not Fu Manchu, but I'll bet this one could do real fine imitations of Boris Karloff. What's the idea? The lady has something on her purse which does not belong to her. Holy smoke, Daddy. Everybody in Nico must have seen you pick up that package. Please hand over the box, and you will not be harmed. Okay, kid, give. 
if I have to. Well, the man has the advantage. Come on, come on. He may get nervous and let that thing go off. All right. Very good. Beautiful Nico, city of shrines, the annual festival and parade of the samurai. And as the sun fades away in the western sky, we leave all the happy little thugs behind Except us. that the sun faded about an hour ago. You're hitting it on the head. <laughs> well, they got it. Now, come on, kid. Back and search the police station. On the double. When they hear what happened, that guy Hanson's going to have some explaining to do. <laughs> So you see, as, as soon as we could, we came here to report it to you. Mm-hmm. Ah, so, 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 so. Well, what are you going to do about it? I do. Ah, so. I... You see, this guy Hanson's at the bottom of it all. When he saw that we wouldn't give the necklace to him, he simply had somebody who works for him kidnap us and take it. Uh, you may be right. Though... Though what, sir? Uh, Mr. Hanson is a highly thought-of member of this community. Hasty actions against such a one could jeopardize my office. However, you seem to be most direct in your story. Come along. We will go and talk with Mr. George Hanson. Right. Inspector Motokawa, what a pleasure. Visiting our fair city for the festival, I will have my boy prepare a room for you and your friend. Uh, Hansan-san, a great pleasure indeed, but uh, fear I come on business. Business? You know what he means. Yes, you do. You got somebody working for you to take the jade necklace back when you couldn't get us to give it to you this afternoon. Necklace? What necklace? Indeed, madame, I, I am most baffled, but... Uh, Please, we will begin preparations for the dinner. Uh, Mr. Hanson, please, I must ask you a few questions. Uh, when Sergeant and Lady visited your house this afternoon... <laughs> this is some joke, Motokawas. And for a moment, I really thought... <laughs> Silly, I know business. <laughs> it is no joke. But, my dear inspector, as you know, my office has a small concealed window here, and from it I can and do watch everyone who enters my house. It is only good policy <laughs> to keep out the undesirables. Furthermore, I was here all afternoon. Uh, just a moment. I will call my boy. Waka motokawa akusa waka tukayaka. Sa, sa, mekos yomen, takana waka. You see, Inspector, it is as I say. I was here all afternoon. I've never laid eyes on these people before. They've never set foot in my house. You are listening to the Proudly We Hail production, Pursuit in Jade. We'll return in just a moment for the second act. High school seniors... Ensure a secure, well-paying future by preparing for it now. The United States Army's Reserved for You program will guarantee you a classroom seat in an exciting Army technical career course before you enlist. You'll get top-notch training and on-the-job experience while serving side-by-side -side with America's finest young men and women. The choice is wide open, and it's all yours to make. High school graduates can take their choice of from more than 100 interesting courses. Everything from atomic technician to welding. The fact-filled booklet, Reserved for You, tells you all about this program. You'll learn of many other fine Army benefits, too, like regular pay increases, promotions, exciting travel assignments, and unbeatable leisure time activities. Get in on the swing. Get your free copy of Reserved for You by visiting or writing your nearest United States Army recruiting station. You are listening to Proudly We Hail, and now we present the second act of Pursuit in Jade. O'Neill, oh. Dottie. Heaven's sakes, don't scare me like that. What's the matter, Jim? Colonel Smith blowing another gasket? Listen, I got an idea. Well, wait till I answer this call, huh? Tokyo Motor Pool, Corporal O'Neill. Yes, sir. They always call at five minutes to five. Yes, Major. Right. Send it immediately. 
Sankara 37, main entrance, Pershing Heights. For Major James Morgan, J1 section. Right. Thank you. Now, for the brainwave. Now, listen. You know you said the jade necklace was a perfectly matched one? Mm-hmm. And Hanson, or whatever his name is, said there weren't two like it? I'm fascinated. Go on. I'm serious. Wait and see. Anyhow, jade is very distinctive, and the value of a perfectly matched necklace is nil if it's broken up, right? Yes, yes, yes. I'm with you this far, but I don't see what you're driving at. Well, just this. If there aren't any others like it, and if they can't break it up without its losing all its value, then the thing is around somewhere. Elementary. So? So, sooner or later, that necklace is going to be on the market. Well, so what? Hanson's got it back, so he'll sell it. Yeah, but don't you see? He doesn't own it. If he sells it, it connects him to the people who took it from us, and that makes him a fence. I think he was taking delivery on it when you picked it up by mistake. That dropping was on purpose, by an accomplice. If he had accidentally dropped it as he claimed, he would have discovered it when he got home, and he'd never have known exactly mm, where. Yes, that's logical. Could have happened anywhere along the parade route. So you and I are going to make things unpleasant for Hans and son yet. Oh, Jim, we can't follow him around till he produces it to make a sale. We got jobs. Well, he doesn't even live in Tokyo. And Nico's four hours from here by train, don't forget. The odds are with us it'll wind up in Tokyo. This is the biggest city. All the important wealthy merchants live here. Tokyo's the number one market for it. Mm -hmm, sure. And there's six and a half million people to buy it. He could sell it to anybody. But he won't. Why not? Because, my sweet, he's going to sell it to us. To us? To us. Come on, here's the place. Now, let's see how good an act we can put on. Try to get that sort of half-asleep look in your eyes that people get when they're engaged. Oh, half-asleep. <laughs> well, you know. All right, I'll try. Okay, here we go. Oh, good afternoon. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. We're looking for a necklace. Maybe a jade necklace. It's an engagement present. Oh, so. Uh, this way, please. This tray, this one is the best, of course. Only 36,000 yen. 100 bucks. Haven't you got anything better? Better than this? Very fine color, very good match. Ah, oh, it's too light. Look how opaque it is. That is the best I have in stock. How much would you like to spend? Uh, would you like to spend? Uh, perhaps I can get something. Five thousand dollars. I do not believe there's such a thing on the market in all Japan today. Well, that's what I'll pay if I can find the right one. Can you find one? I can try. But I think not. Okay. I'll keep trying myself and come back again next week. See what you can do. Very well. Uh, konnichiwa. Now, next week. I'll be back. Don't forget. Sai, Sergeant. I have nothing like that. Okay. See if you can get one. I'll be back. Come on, Chuck. I have contacted my brother, Osaka. He has nothing like this, what you are looking for. All right, keep looking. If there was such a thing on the market, I would have it. All right, thanks. Gosh, I don't know, Jim. You know, it seemed like such a good idea, but we've been looking every day for two weeks now, from five until the shops are closed. We must have covered every jeweler in Tokyo that could possibly have or get the thing. Yeah, and even the places we've gone back to have been no dice. I know it. I thought, sure, when they'd go out to try to find a really good jade necklace, we'd turn it up. Sure, because in order to make a sale of that kind, you'd think they'd go to almost any lengths. Yeah. And you know the Japanese grapevine and how things get around. Well, it must have been our act that didn't convince them. Oh, I don't think so. I'll tell you what we'll do. It's almost 8 o'clock. Too late to go to mess. I'll buy some chow. I think we deserve a nice, quiet dinner with some soothing music. Well, I... Boisan, Nikatsu Hotel. Ayaku.
Gee, this is, has been a wonderful evening. I almost felt as though we were celebrating something. Well, I wish we were. But I don't know. Looks like we're going to have to give it up. I don't know. Maybe we'll think of something else. Well, I better go in. Okay. Uh, Daddy. Yeah. Uh, it has been wonderful. I just wanted you to know. Yeah. Yes, it has. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Uh, sir. Uh, Satan, sir. Uh, not tonight, boys. Uh, no money, no money. Oh, I not the beggar, sir. This is a moment of conversation. Yeah, what about? About the jade necklace. What do you know about a jade necklace? Oh, I know. Here, take this card, sir. Hey, hey, come back. Well, this was the address on the card. I don't think there's anybody home, Jim. Well, I'll ring again. The door just slid open without anybody there. Here, kick off your shoes and put on these slippers. Okay. Now it's closed by itself. Jim, I'm scared. Well, I told you you shouldn't come. I think you were right. It's just push button operated. Nothing to be afraid of. Okay, open it. Try to open it. I bet you can't. I bet we can't get out. Okay. This way, <gasps> sir. Come on. We've got business to do. Good evening. I suppose you're still going to stick to your story of never having seen us before. No, Sergeant, I recognize you plainly. That was a moderately clever trap you set, pretending to want to buy an expensive jade necklace. I must say I fell into it. Pretty neat, huh? Unfortunately for you, yes. What do you mean, unfortunately for us? Inspector Motokawa is going to be very interested in knowing about this, I think. Yes, indeed. But, of course, he never will. He's got a gun. Yes, I do. Boy, son, take these people upstairs. I'm afraid they will be our guests for a short while. You can't do this. Be careful, Jim. Remember what you told me about people with guns getting nervous. Yeah, I guess you're right. Quite so. I will give the gun to the boy here. You'll regret this. I think it more likely that you will, if a corpse can feel regret. <laughs> Even move. Tied my legs to the chair so tight if I even wiggle, the ropes cut into them. Well, you've got to try. It's awfully quiet downstairs for a long time. Wonder what they're up to. My car drove in again, and it was the boy's son coming back, and the guy who looks like Boris Karloff. Probably went for shovels to dig our graves. I don't think they'll bother. I got one knot here I can just barely oh. reach. I think in time I might get it loose. The trouble is, I don't know how much time we've got. Jim. Do you think they dare kill us? Don't talk. Try to get loose. I'll bet they're trying to think up a way so it'll look like an accident. What a prize dope I was not to think it might be Hanson himself tonight. I never thought he'd take the chance. Well, I guess he never thought we'd turn out to be the buyers. At least they're moving around. I don't know if that's better than having him quiet. Jim. Yeah? Do you smell something? Jim, do you smell anything? I smell smoke. Yeah, yeah. They've set a fire downstairs. There they go. They're leaving us here to burn to death. Why, well, that's inhuman. Try to get loose, Daddy. This house will go up like kindling. It's nothing but bamboo and straw. Oh, ooh, I've got my legs free. You have? Yeah, that won't do much good, will it? Maybe. we got one little chance. What? Can you get up? Yeah, I think so. Well, come over here. The poison didn't bother to empty my pockets. Even with your hands tied, you may be able to reach in. I, I've got a knife in my right hand pocket. Okay, Jim. We do have a chance. Go on, hurry. I told you the place would go in a hurry. Okay, okay, now, you hold it in your hand. I'll lean up against it. That'll be easiest, huh? Easy now. Now, don't cut yourself. Okay. There. You're loose. Yeah, now. Now to cut you free. There. All right. Come on. Ooh. That way's out. I think that was the stairway oh. just fell anyway. Try the window. Here, here. Uh, look, if we crawl along this leg, we can reach the trellis there. All right, you go first. You're lighter. If it caves in, yeah, I'll jump. Yeah, I won't cave in. Can't have you breaking an ankle. We got a lot to do tonight once we get out of here.
right, Inspector. Now we want to hear the whole story. You promised as soon as dinner was over to tell us. Uh, very well. But uh, first I must light excellent cigar provided by intrepid Sergeant Gorman. <laughs> ah, so, so. Now, you remember last night, I ordered roadblocks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, as soon as we told you what happened. Into the roadblocks walks uh, Mr. George Hansen and friends like lambs into fold. Did he have the necklace? I blush with ease with which we accomplished mission. A necklace was indeed there. Also, certain other items. The same being sent to Jula for examination. Other items? Just so. Official appraiser's honorable opinion that we have recovered entire loot of a new eye company robbery three months ago. Oh, I read about in the paper. Oh, that's why Hanson couldn't afford to have us take the necklace to the police. He knew they were looking for it and would surely recognize it. Have duties now elsewhere and must depart from charming company. Must express great gratitude for assistance rendered in this matter. No, we didn't do anything. <laughs> no. The relentless pursuit in which you engaged brings up a thought in poetic Japanese mind. We'll entitle this case in closed file. Pursuit in Jade. Have small word of advice for Sergeant Gorman. Old proverb say, when egg is hatched, chicken need not sit longer. I uh, hope I can soon return hospitality. Good night. Good night. Jim? What, what in the world did he mean about the chicken? Hmm? Oh, nothing, nothing. Dolly, I was just thinking. Yeah? Well, I thought... Well, I mean, uh... I'm sort of used to being engaged to you. Do you think, uh... Do I? Gee. <laughs> Did you know that you can get ahead, enjoy your work, have security and a steady job, all when you enlist in the United States Army? Why, you'll get your first promotion when you've been in only a few months. There's a wide variety of jobs available, but most important, you'll be helping to preserve the national security of our country. Why don't you check at your local recruiting office and let them tell you how you can make the most of your life in the United States Army. This has been another program on Proudly We Hail. Presented and transcribed in cooperation with this station. Proudly We Hail is produced by the Recruiting Publicity Center in New York for the United States Army. And this is Mark Hamilton speaking, inviting you to tune in this same station next week for another interesting story on Proudly We Hail.